database management system dbms ms access part 2 hello students in my previous video i have discussed how to create a new database hope you guys got it well and practiced at home in this video i am going to show you how to create a table inside your database and how can you insert a column in the table and how can you insert the data in the table I will be creating this video on Access 2007 but if you are using the Access 2010 or 13 also you can go through this video because there is not much difference in those two versions of Access. Let's get started. I am going to start this video from where the exactly my previous video part 1 ends. So guys let's continue from there. Hope you all remember that in part 1 video I have taught you how to create a new database here we go here you can see the three columns field name data types and description field name is the title of your column of the table Data type is the form in which your column will take the input. I am going to describe this data type in details and the descriptions by the name you know. If you want to give the description of your column, you can give it here. We already have prepared the new database in previous video called personal details. So in personal details, what it can contain? It can contain serial number, name, address, date of birth, city, gender, marital status, nationality, category, religion, blood group, biodata, photo, whatever you want to have in your table. So, I'll be starting with the serial number. This is serial number. Always use underscore between the words like I said earlier. Click OK. Next is name, next is address. Next is date of birth, next is city. can write the states also gender marital underscore status always use underscore between the words Next is nationality category. Let me close this. And the next is religion, blood group, next is biodata. And the last one is photo. Data type for the serial number will be a number, right? Serial number can be a number, but it's better to give its auto number. What auto number does is it will increment the number automatically and you don't need to increment by yourself because of the auto number it will generate the number automatically here you can see there's a several forms of data types but serial number can be in auto number serial number can be in 
auto number choose the auto number here name can be written in the text address also can be written in the text for the date of birth you have to choose date and time for city you have to choose text for state you need to choose text for gender you have to choose lookup wizard here choose the next op second option i will type the value that i want click next right in the first row male in second row female and in the third row others click finish next is marital status choose years no for the marital status next lady can be written in text category also can be written in text religion text blood group text here for by data you have to choose attachment for photo you have to choose OLE object object linking and embedding is the full form of OLE here we have finished the designing of field names and the data types now we need to save the database while saving you may ask for the table name write the table name as personal details and click ok save from here click save write the table name personal underscore details click ok here you will get the message called there is no primary key defined here is the message there is no primary key defined click no for this time because we don't need primary key here click no the next thing is switching the views there are different types of views in ms access but i am showing you two types of views today design view and dataset view the table displaying on your screen is design view this is design view click on view this is design view and this is how you can switch to the data sheet view go to design click on view choose data sheet view design and view choose data sheet view this is your data sheet view The design view allows you to enter the name of the field in the table and to specify their data types. The dataset view allows you to enter the actual data. Part 2 ends here. Part 3 will be uploaded soon. Thanks for watching.